The following presentation of Take Paws has been made possible in part by Broward County Animal Care and Adoption, where you can adopt a new best friend for life. If you've been thinking about adopting a pet of your own, there's no better time than the present. There are plenty of new best friends out there to be made and they're waiting just for you. But you don't have to take it from me. Let's hear from some real experts. Pet fostering means you take an animal from a shelter, a kitty cat or, a, or an other dog, and you bring them home and you uh, bring them back to health if they're not healthy and give them a chance to recover. Or if they're kittens when they're two or, or puppies when they're too young, they need, um, they need to be at a house where they can grow and, and be ready for adoption. So sometimes they, um, they're too young to be adopted and uh, that's when foster parents come in. We take these animals and we bring them out to our house. We, um, feed them, love them, socialize them, and then make them adoptable. Fostering is important because um, shelters don't have unlimited capacity. So when they get all these kittens that they need their time, or puppies that need time to grow, um, the shelters kind of wait a whole month or two for them to be of the age appropriate where they can be spayed and neutered and then adopted out. And that's all, we, that's all they need sometimes. Sometimes they need a month, sometimes they need, they need two months. And when you bring them home, you're giving them that extra chance that they can grow and, and then don't have to, you know, that they can find a home. Some of the things that a foster parent will do, um, you bring, let's say, a litter of kittens or a litter of puppies to your house, and you give them a place for them to, to sleep, uh, make sure they have a comfortable bed. Sometimes they need a bath. Um, and then after that, you just make sure that you feed them the right amount of, of food. Um, every couple of weeks, you take them to the vet for a checkup. And if they need medicine, you administer some medicine, which is usually not a big deal. It's just a pill or a, or a drop in the eye. And um, of course, maintain the environment clean and socialize them. Play with them, kiss them, love them. And with that, they become adoptable. Fostering could take as little as half an hour every twice a day. Uh, if that's all the time you have, that's good enough. It saves lives anyways. Um, but, um, you know, it, it, in average it will be about an hour or two a day. Uh, sometimes you get, um, I've gotten bottle feeding animals and those need to be bottle fed, you know, every four hours or so. So it's a big commitment. Uh, but don't, you don't have to foster animals that need to be bottle fed. You could foster kittens or puppies that are eating on their, on their own. Um, so it's important to spend time with them and socialize them because if they don't have the human interaction then they, um, they become shy and not adaptable. So like Midnight here, you know, when she came here she was young and she was um, a little skittish and now she's very comfortable being with humans because of the work we put on her. I chose to foster pets uh, about 10 years ago when I, um, I found um, which my cats, they were a litter of kittens that had been dropped next to a dumpster in a box and uh, they were going to be uh, sent to the, um, to the animal control shelter. So I went there and I picked them up and I said, well, how can I help them? And they said, um, you will have to foster. And that's how I got involved, involved in foster and I ended up keeping four of, I mean, three of those kittens. And they're now my nine-year-old cats. They're about nine and a half. So that's how I got involved. And uh, what I get out of fostering is, um, it's satisfying to see the animals safe, and, and as I said, sometimes they come in really terrible conditions. So it's nice to see them uh, going from being skinny and you know and, and scared to being happy and, and healthy, and um, that's what I. And, and of course, it's also nice to see uh, when they go to somebody's house and they make somebody's life happy. And I've happen, actually gotten feedback from people that have adopted the animals, and they make sure to tell me how great of a cat or I do cats, uh, how great of a kitty cat they become. 
Fostering pets is a really uh, cool way of having your kids and everybody involved in a, in a volunteer way, uh, you know, to help animals. And uh, normally here with Nicholas, he we call it the, we call him the kitten tamer because uh, when kittens are skittish and shy, he they, you know he handles them and he makes them, he helps them become very social and, and friendly. Uh, he also you know can help playing with them, uh, uh, you know giving them a little food and water, and it teaches kids responsibility. So when they eventually have their own pet, they can actually know what to do and what to expect. So this is a fostering is another way of saying to a child, okay, if you're gonna be responsible, then let's do foster, and then you show me how responsible you can be, and then you can adopt a pet if you show that you can be responsible. So it teaches kids responsibility too. Okay, if anybody wants to get involved and in foster um, pets, uh, kitty cats or, or puppies, um, all they have to do is local, uh, contact a local shelter or a rescue group. Everybody needs help, so pretty much, any, um, any rescue group or shelter should have plenty of kittens and puppies in it to be foster. So all you have to do is contact one of them and say, I want to foster, and they will welcome you with open arms. <laughs> uh, some of the things people can do besides fostering uh, animals at their home, um, it's uh, you can go to a shelter and volunteer. They have plenty of opportunities. There are um, chances for people to do photography on, of the pets so they can be put on websites to be adopted. Uh, there is, um, you know, greeting people that come in and want to look for an animal to adopt. Um, rescue groups have uh, outlets like pet stores and they need somebody there to talk about the kitties and show them to people and answer questions, fill out applications. So uh, those just are a few of the things that you can do to help pets and at shelters. I highly encourage all of you to go out and foster a kitten or a puppy. I personally fostered about 150 uh, kittens and it's been very rewarding not only to have saved their lives, but um, to know that they went to good homes and they made the lives of people happy. Um, I hear stories all the time that are very rewarding and I highly encourage you. You can only, you could do as little as one pet or you can foster two or three or even five or six. So all you have to do is go to your shelter and ask how you do it and get started like right now. <laughs>